That's great. Okay, great. So, uh, firstly, uh, welcome. Thank you ever so much for attending today. And uh, on behalf of uh, Javid and myself, uh, we're really looking forward to uh, uh, demonstrating uh, some fantastic software that I think will make a massive difference to you and your business, and particularly your sort of online meetings. Uh, my name is Steve Mills. Um, I'm uh, head of marketing at uh, Intermedia Communication Solutions. And uh, with me today, we've got uh, Javid Tufal, who is the uh, head of um, uh, sort of services business development at uh, Altia Systems. Um, you know, if, if you are used to watching webinars and, and videos and having video meetings that look something like this, uh, then you know you really are in the right place at the right time because, as I said, this technology that we're going to bring you is uh, going to uh, transform your online meetings and make them a more professional, b more comfortable, and uh, c uh, far more effective to uh, to use and to manage. Um, as I said, uh, we are here today, both Javed and I. To uh, provide you with a demonstration of how you can use this fantastic equipment. I'm going to take a little bit of a back seat and be the person who sort of organizes the webinar, if you will, that answers any questions that you may have. And uh, I'll uh, let uh, Javed in a couple of moments take the sort of lead on things. So uh, what we will be covering during the webinar well, the first thing we'll be covering is the Panacast 2 camera, including what we call the remarkable uh, Intelligent Zoom and Panacast whiteboard. So that's essentially what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be uh, on the webinar for about 45 minutes. It's absolutely fine to ask questions uh, during the webinar, and there will be a short session at the end for any questions that may come up at that time. Uh, why should you be here? Because I really believe you know, that we're all very, very busy people and uh, spending time on a webinar like this is you know, sometimes tough to do, let's face it. We've all got things that we could or even should be doing right now. Uh, but uh, both uh, Javid and I believe that you know, you, our promise to you is to do our very best to make sure that you get the best possible return on investment and information and when I say return on investment I mean the investment in your time in being here that you get the very best return on your investment of time in being here today so um, a couple of admin things before we uh, hand over or I hand over to Javed firstly speaking uh, there's only uh, Javed and I able to speak on the webinar so you can't actually speak but you can uh, do a couple of things you can comment you can ask questions as I said I'll be that uh, interpreter and I'll try and cut into Javed in terms of uh, you know the, the right time to ask uh, a question that you've asked um, and you can also put your hand up. So there's a, a, a button at the bottom of your screen where you can just literally raise your hand if we ask you a question, you know, are, are you like this or like that? You know, we can, uh, we can uh, ask a question there and you can answer that question. So uh, that's just about my bit over with uh, for now. So I'm going to hand over to Javed, who's going to, as I said, put the remarkable Panacast 2 camera through its paces. So welcome to the uh, conversation, Javed, and, uh, and over to you. Well, thank you, thank you, Steve. Uh, I think I'm getting a little bit of echo, I think. Uh, but anyways, uh, I, it's, it's all clear. Well, thank you, Steve, and uh, thank you, folks, for attending uh, and um, you know giving us a chance and an opportunity to talk to you about the Panacast and the great technology that we've brought uh, to the market. Panacast uh, is uh, from Altia Systems. It's a unique uh, camera system uh, that you have not uh, come across any other system like that before. So I'm going to go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just talk briefly about the camera. There are a couple of demos that are uh, part of this webinar. As uh, Steve mentioned, then we'll, we can take some questions 
Um, if you have any questions, yeah, just pass them along. Uh, Steve will, uh, you know, uh, Steve, uh, feel free to stop me anytime. We can uh, take those questions and then we'll try to move along. We we'll want to make sure also a majority of the questions we tackle at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start my uh, presentation. Let me know if you, Steve, let me know if you're able to see my screen. Yeah, we, we can, uh, Jared. Yeah, we can see that file. Excellent. So um, the flow for the webinar is um, I'm going to talk more, more or less about 20, 25 minutes. We'll talk about a little bit about Altia Systems, who we are, um, our Panicas 2 camera technology, um, the, feature, the, the, the brilliant feature that we've introduced in Intelligent Zoom and the Panicas Vision with the whiteboard functionality that we've brought in. Um, and a little sneak peek uh, on the upcoming products. Um, take a quick look at the use cases, and we'll, you know, we'll take uh, take on your Q and A's. Uh, so, 2011 is memorable for our UK audience. I know that uh, you know the, the, that was the last time uh, a royal wedding happened, so it's quite memorable for mm -hmm. us people in the US where we're based. 2011 was memorable because we founded Altia Systems. So, um, in 2013. Uh, Intel came on board as um, the lead investor, and Altia Systems became an Intel portfolio company. We since have uh, more investments uh, that have been made in our company, so we're we're growing, and uh, we're we're uh, you know we're putting our flags at different places in the in the in in the world uh, as far as uh, Panicast technology goes. Where are we based? Um, we're about 40 miles south of San Francisco in a in the Apple country called Cupertino. Uh, as you know, the, the you know Apple's headquarters down the street from us. Uh, so, and people who use Apple devices know where Cupertino is. But we're on the West Coast, we're in the Pacific uh, time zone, on the uh, in California. Um, we FCS our camera back two years ago, uh, and then since then we have expanded to pretty much all four corners of the world. We see a strong presence in Europe, in Australia. In obviously in North America, and we're slowly expanding to other regions, as in Asia and uh, and um, uh, Central um, Eastern Europe as well. Uh, we're a team of very dedicated and very brilliant engineers. Uh, a lot of brilliant engineers in our in our team, and we continue to file patents. Uh, we have about 33 patents filed. Almost 10 have uh, 10 have almost uh, 10 have been granted. So. Uh, we continue to bring on innovative technology uh, to the to our end customers, to our partners as well. Um, I'll talk a little bit about uh, our business growth. Um, we first FCS the camera in 2015, October, September, late September, early October 2015. Since then, we have about 1,000 customers and companies that have um, um, purchased our, our, our customers who have used Panacas to cameras in about 37, 38 countries. Uh, we see a lot of growth in the enterprise, uh, a lot of pull from enterprise and small, medium business. And if you talk about verticals, we see the education institutions, institutions of higher learning, universities, um, basically they're, they're looking at Panacast to camera and they've, uh, you know, they're uh, incorporate that in their remote learnings in other scenarios as well. There are some examples that we can talk. I can show some slides on that as well. Um, in well, and the rate of innovative technology that we've brought is, you know, we continuously uh, keep on bringing new and new uh, feature and functionality uh, around Panacast uh, products. In uh, Q3 last year, 2016, we brought in the VR mode, which is a blending mode of how uh, the images from one uh, camera uh, blends into the distant camera. And this, this allowed the door to open, uh, this allowed uh, uh, you to, for our end customers, to take their Panacast camera outdoors as well take some brilliant uh, uh, shots in the outdoors with the blending mode where you do not see any stitching. And then uh, with, uh, in Q4 2016, we um, created a Panacast 3D VR kit. What it allows you to do is capture the 3D video content. It, so the two cameras are uh, built together in a biomimetic way where they're, um, each camera system is synchronized itself in, internally. But these two cameras, they act as two human eyes. They are strobe synchronized, and they're able to uh, allow you to capture 3D video content, which you can either 
uh, store it and then load it up um, to YouTube or uh, you know or, and use uh, some 3D uh, VR uh, uh, 3D playback uh, applications to view your uh, generated content as well. In um, at the end of Q4, also we also uh, we uh, built Panacas 2S. Uh, it is in QA testing right now. What Panacas 2S does is it um, there's a little bit the same hardware as Panacas 2, but a little bit of uh, different in architecture where the video real-time video streams are not processed within the camera, but are actually uh, delivered to the Panacast, uh, to the Intel Skull Canyon uh, computer that, is connect that uh, it is connected to. Because that computer has much more horsepower, it can, um, it can run the algorithms of stitching and rendering. And then instead of uh, giving you a four megapixel 4K camera, that uh, Intel uh, Skull Canyon can deliver a 7.4 7 7 megapixel real-time stitched video stream, uh, which can give you about four, four to five x lossless zoom. So that's you know that's pretty powerful. It's in QA. We hope to bring it um, in the market next year. Um, then at uh, ISC Amsterdam, we introduced Intelligent Zoom. Uh, you know, we I'm running Intelligent Zoom right now in in my camera. As you can see, it it detects that you're not probably able to see the 180 degree field of view. The reason being that the camera is detecting me being the only person sitting in this uh, conference room. Um, as soon as uh, my colleagues walk in, which we'll do a quick demo for you guys as well, um, the camera would detect the uh, facial markers of uh, individual persons, and then it would zoom out to include everybody that it sees in its field of view. Um, we also introduced uh, Panacas micro camera, which uh, in March, it's again a conceptual product, but uh, we demonstrated to the world that we can miniaturize these multi-image, uh, multi-camera systems and still capture 120 to 180, uh, 140 degree field of view. So there, and we have partnered with some of the you know world's leading uh, phone manufacturer, phone camera manufacturers, and you know um, there are more good, exciting stuff uh, that is a, that that's more to come actually from Altia Systems. Um, by popular demand, we also introduced Panacast in black. Uh, initially, when we first rolled out Panacast uh, camera, it was only available in silver color uh, with, uh, with a good quality design and fin uh, finish. You know, some of, the, some of our customers have always wondered if it's an Apple device, right? But uh, so that's uh, that we, we like those kind of comments, uh, but we, you know, uh, and we introduced the Panacast in black color as well. So. And it, it fits in really nicely, and that, that was introduced by uh, popular demand because uh, customers wanted, first of all, it's a very really small footprint. However, when you offer it in black and you uh, mount it either above or below the uh, display monitor, it, you, know, you, you, do, you don't even know there's a camera mounted there. So it works really well, blend, blends in with the bezels. Uh, last um, Introduction to Panacast Whiteboard. We brought Panacast Whiteboard at Infocom early June 2017 this year. And it's a, it's a really good technology which allows you to capture your actual physical whiteboards, whether these are whiteboards or flip charts or what, whatever it, uh, it may be. You can define the area, you can capture it, and the camera orthogonally corrects it and presents it as a whiteboard that you can share with your uh, remote attendees. Um, so let's talk about Panacast 2 camera. For those of you who are not familiar with Panacast 2, it's a, it's a really small device, as you can see. It fits, it's smaller than the palm of a person. And what it is is uh, there are three cameras mounted at the camera head. It's an array of cameras. We take real-time video from each of these cameras, and uh, we deliver a 180-degree field of view and 54-degree tall. And it's a very natural human uh, perspective way of looking at things. So this is a, this is a really cool picture uh, from one of our uh, industry um, attendances at shows, where you, you can see I'm sitting on one edge, and Erin is sitting on the other edge of a small huddle room scenario that we had created in that uh, at at our booth. And uh, for people who are viewing this from the other side, from the remote side, we all look pretty much. You know, it's a very natural way of looking. This is how you, you want to interact with other people. It's basically your seat at the table. Um, you would also notice, compared to any 
wide angle or fish islands kind of cameras, there are no scalar or radial distortions, right? The objects and uh, the edges of the picture are the same size as the objects in the middle, and there's no loss of resolution as well. They're, they're pretty much evenly even resolution across, uh, across the picture uh, of the 180 degree field of view that you have. Um, it, you know, it gives, there are a lot of positives that you uh, can draw from, uh, from the, such a wide field of view. It, it's more engaging. You get uh, uh, room dynamics, um, get the read of the people who are sitting. Sometimes when you're using mechanical pan, tilt and zoom cameras, you pan to the right side and uh, you can only see the right side. But if you pan to the left side, uh, the right side is uh, no more to be seen. So with, with Panacast, uh, if with 180 degree field of view, not only do you see right side uh, and the left side, but you see right, left, and center. So really cool stuff, um, really uh, powerful. Um, Looking under the hood, a little bit about the technology. I know there are a lot of uh, us who work in the audio video uh, realm and uh, their basic engineering background. So, um, and people who have those, uh, they really appreciate the way we've uh, built this device. It's an, uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, it's an array of uh, three cameras, uh, three cameras mounted on the camera head. So an array of camera systems that is taking real time video and feeding that video to that Panacast video processor. So that's an onboard processor that uh, is within the camera. And what it does is it's running our algorithms. And after uh, taking the real-time video, we, we process those, we uh, stitch them within five milliseconds. So it's a very quick uh, stitching, ultra-fast stitching of uh, the real-time video that is coming from three different cameras. And once that uh, stitching occurs, we render those images on a virtual cylinder, apply geometric corrections, and deliver a 3840 by 1080p resolution real-time video stream through USB 3.0 interface. And that is compatible to both, uh, actually, well, that, that video stream that comes out can be connected to a USB 2.0 or USB 3.0. So it's compatible to both 3.0 and 2.0 ports. Okay. Javed, I've uh, just been asked, uh, is it necessary to download any particular software in order to use uh, the camera? Very good question, uh, Steve, and uh, thanks. Keep them coming. I, you know, sometimes in my flow, I, I tend, tend to forget a, um, a minor things yeah, like that. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's okay. You keep going. You're doing yeah. well. No, it's good. Um, a good question. No, you do not have to download any drivers. You do not have to download any uh, software to run your Panacast with your uh, Windows, Mac, or Chrome for meeting uh, boxes or even Linux devices. I'll, I'll talk more about that um, in my next uh, slide. What we are saying is whether you want to use, and because it's a USB plug and play, um, so there's no uh, driver to download except for Windows 7, I know there's still uh, a, a small um, or large, however you look at it, there's a Windows 7 um, install base, but it, that requires that small uh, driver. However, with, for Windows 10, Mac, Chrome for Meeting, Linux boxes, you do not need uh, any driver. It's just purely plug and play. Um, so it's, um, um, it's supported on all um, uh, operating systems as well as all hardware, Windows, Macs, and um, not only that, it's also, uh, since it's a USB plug and play, can work with all of your popular uh, uh, collaboration applications or video conferencing applications. There, believe it or not, there are actually 45 or so video conferencing applications. I can only count, uh, <laughs> I can only count eight or 10, but uh, yeah, there are, there are plenty more, plenty, uh, plenty of uh, those uh, applications out there. So the Panacast works with all of these applications. Um, of, well, we just only listed out the most popular ones, the Zooms, the WebEx, the Skype, Skype for Business, Google Hangouts, and you name it, the, where you find majority of, uh, you know, 80 to 90% of your enterprise um, uh, uses these, these applications. So, uh -huh. and um, Panacast, um, you know, the, the unique field of view comes in really handy. I mean, it, the camera really shines in a small huddle room space. As we've seen in the industry, the trend is becoming more and more towards small huddle room space. Um, 
you can only put so many of the high end uh, uh, video conferencing systems. You know, the, the uh, any enterprise cannot uh, throw down hundred thousand dollars or even thirty thousand dollar conference uh, conference room system, video conference room systems in you know thirty or forty rooms of uh, you know of uh, of an enterprise. Uh, so. With with Panacast, what you get is uh, you you enable your uh, huddle room spaces uh, very quickly, very uh, cost efficiently with Panacast 2 camera. All you need is Panacast camera, which can, can captures the full 180 degree uh, field of view, and you don't have to feel like uh, you have to bunch up together. Only uh, the one person sitting in front of a traditional single lens camera can be seen by the remote site. But in this, with this use. People can sit across from the table in a relaxed manner where, and be seen by the remote side very easily. Um, it's it's very versatile. Um, you can order the Panacast camera or you, and place it on a table stand and move it from one conference room to another or one huddle room to another. It, you know, all you have to do is just take the camera and then you know you've enabled the other conference room uh, with video as well. Or you can uh, make it as a part of room resource, install it, and then just uh, on a wall mount and plug it to the whatever the room resource computer is. Um, so you can utili really utilize that in a uh, in a very easy uh, manner. And and uh, the complexity is there is no complexity actually. If you compare it with uh, with Polycoms and Cisco's, um, there's a lot more complexity. Uh, I, I didn't mention that, but I worked for Cisco for 13 years. Um, I know the Cisco architecture. I know they make great products, but they are also have to have uh, their own uh, ecosystem. Um, there are, you know, you install Polycoms, you install Cisco's, great products, by the way, but they're all, all in their own wall gardens, right? Um, so if you want to bring in a third party device, um, you cannot plug that into a Polycom system, right? With, uh, with Panacast, you can take it to any um, today if you're using Zoom or today if you're using Skype for Business. Tomorrow, if you change it to WebEx, you know you don't lose your investment. You can you can still utilize your Panacast camera uh, for the other uh, video collaboration applications. That's quite an important thing, isn't it? Really, um, absolutely. I mean, it's a it's 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 a great uh, value point. Um, Steve, how are you doing on time? Uh, we are uh, just gone ten to six. Okay, excellent. Time, so we've been going about twenty-two minutes. So okay, excellent. Fine. All right. So uh, intelligent zoom. Um, intelligent zoom. As you can see, um, I have turned on intelligent zoom. I'll. Um, we can demo it right now in our uh, call over here as well. But um, the slide up on the, on the screen presents that uh, intelligent zoom feature. Uh, you can see my colleague uh, Priya is sitting there by herself, and the camera sees her uh, sitting all by herself and detects there's nobody else. It, what it's doing, it's trying to look for facial markers, eyes, ears, nose, skin color, tone, etc. And if it does not detect any other person in its field of view, then it is going to zoom in on that person and tries to center that person uh, in the middle. And as Alex joins uh, Priya over here in the, in the third uh, slot shot, the camera detects Alex and moves up. And as Jesse joins Alex and Priya, you know, the camera again detects there's another person who's joined the meeting and just zooms out and you know, includes everybody. The way algorithms work is um, we are, uh, you know, this is by design, by the way, we are quicker to include and slower to exclude people. So for example, if I were to move away from uh, the camera, the camera is not going to just automatically immediately zoom out uh, to full 180 degrees. It's going to give me some time to come back into the field of view if I had just gone over to grab something. So in order to reduce that back and forth zoom in, zoom out motion, uh, we, uh, we've introduced that uh, uh, by design. However, if somebody walks in and um, we immediately uh, include that person. So if you, uh, if you allow me for a second, I can go and grab one of my teammates. Uh, hopefully by nine, it's almost 10 o'clock. People over here have showed up. So give me a minute and I'll, I'll ask somebody to join me real quick here. That's absolutely fine, Javed, and I'll uh, I'll hold the fort uh, until uh, until you get back. So um, 
you know, what Jeff is going to demonstrate now is obviously when two people are in the room, how the camera changes uh, automatically using the intelligent zoom feature. So um, he's back. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop sharing. Thanks, uh, Steve. I'm going to stop sharing. As, as you guys uh, saw my video, um, I've just invited my colleague uh, Naveed over here. And um, as you saw, the camera immediately uh, moved in and I, it's trying to find an optimum, uh, you know, window where it, it, it centers both of us in the middle of the uh, video stream. And, uh, and if, I, if I were to move a little bit farther and I'm still in the field of view, the camera is going to detect like, okay, uh, I'm, it needs to bring me back into that field of view. So, you know, how it uh, automatically adjusts that. So that's, that's really cool. And the, the fun part about that is I'm, I don't have to have a remote control, so there's no batteries, no loss of remote control. There's no um, mechanical zoom in, zoom out. There's no noise or distractions as, as such. So thank you, Naveed, so much. I, I appreciate that. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Well, thank you ever so much. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, and um, see, now that Naveed has left, it's going to detect that I'm by myself here in this uh, conference room, and it is going to automatically um, zoom in on me. So as I mentioned, it is slower in excluding uh, people, but quicker in including. So you must have seen the response when Naveed walked in and it, the camera immediately detected yeah, that. So now, now it is, exactly. So now it's detecting yeah. that it's nobody in except by myself. So it's uh, just zooming in on me. We're um, <clears throat> going back to uh, our slide deck. So that was uh, what uh, we, we talked about uh, Panacast uh, Intelligent Zoom. Yeah, we, we, we've got a couple of questions. Is it OK? Sure. To, yeah, to, yeah, absolutely. To Please. So uh, first one, in your, ex your experience with customers using Panacast, is it better to use the stand or the mount? Uh, well, very good question. Actually, um, if you are, if you are uh, majority, uh, I'll tell you statistics. Um, about 70 to 80 percent of our customers have been using it with wall mounts. <clears throat> uh -huh. um, only 15 to 20 percent, maybe, with a table stand, and that's that usually occurs when people are trying to test something and they want it on a table stand and they want to move it to another conference room, they want to move it to another conference room, and that's what happens. Um, the other scenario could be some people do not want to, you know, uh, uh, they have cadenzas and they, they feel like the stand is really uh, well placed, they can uh, put it on, um, on, the, on the table stand. The other, other um, reason sometimes people do offer with a table stand is uh, to put, it, put the camera right at the table. It's, at the, it's a seat at the table. If you place the camera just at the edge of the table, it basically captures the entire uh, people as well. So, yeah, okay. it's about 80-20 as oh, just fantastic. to answer. Uh, one more uh, quick one. Uh, will the interactive screen recognize the camera for a Skype call if it's not directly connected to a PC or laptop? Well, the interactive screen. So, we're, as long as, so if if I'm trying to understand what kind of interactive yeah. screen are we talking about? I, I, yeah, if, if you want to let me know, uh, that, that's great. I'm, I'm assuming it means the, uh, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the ex, you know, the way it expands the, you know, the, 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 the camera. Uh, and will it work? The touch screen? Not, we, not, we're talking about the touch screen? Yeah. Yeah. I, the camera is supported. The camera has UVC. The camera is UVC compliant, and um, so it can um, it can work with interactive touch screens. The camera is usually, uh, you know, if it is connected to, if the if the if any camera works with uh, those uh, interactive touch screens through a, let's say, USB port, Panacast 2 will work as well. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we'll let's talk about. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go. Uh, I was just saying back over to you. So. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, so going back to Panacast Vision, and I'll quickly talk about Panacast Vision, and then we, we can do a quick demo for that as well. 
panic persuasion is what you might have if some people have not have used it in the past where there was an application called a small software that we allow uh, the host to control the and the, the view from what they want to send it to remote site, right? So it's basically host control of uh, Panacast video stream. Um, Panacast Vision uh, is an application that you can download. It's available for Windows. It will, so will be soon available for Mac uh, devices as well. What that does is once you download that Panacast uh, Vision application, uh, when you launch it, it it is basically a virtual camera. If the camera is connected to the uh, end computer and you launch that Panacast Vision, it would immediately detect there's a Panacast camera, it would draw the video and would display the video in this Panacast Vision video window. Now, since, it's, it, since it is developed by Altia Systems, Panacast, we can control, we can provide you some uh, cool features like you can zoom in, zoom out, uh, you can pan in the room, you can uh, set uh, four or five, pre uh, five presets with that, and that becomes your camera. So now your camera is Panacast Vision. So if you have to go under tools or settings of any of these video collaboration applications, you don't choose Panacast, you would choose Panacast Vision as your camera because now that is your camera, that, that's where your controls reside, and that's what you would be send, uh, sending it out to the remote site. Okay. And that, um, as I, you know, I talked about these uh, controls uh, over here. You would see there, are, uh, you know, uh, panning controls. There's a zoom in, zoom out. There are preset controls. Um, there are some uh, you can uh, uh, camera controls, contrast, brightness uh, that are offered in that application. By the way, that application, the Panacast Vision application, is free of charge. It's available to download. It allows you, as I mentioned, host controls. Now, in this Panacast Vision, there's a, there's a paid feature called Panacast Whiteboard. Um, the Panacast Whiteboard, in my, in my next slide, offers you these uh, options uh, or these controls. Uh, with, when you launch the Panacast Whiteboard, it has five buttons. The first one is a rescan or scanning of the room. What, what that does is it would take, it, the camera would actually uh, do a geometric scan of the room it would try to identify these concentric squares where they are located, and it, that would be the starting point of its whiteboard. And that's what our algorithms run to make sure where the white, to detect where the whiteboard is, and then orthogonally correct it and present it as a con shareable content. You can uh, also define manually what area or specify what area of the whiteboard do you want to show. Um, you can save it as a, um, the whiteboard as a desktop, save it, save it as a JPEG uh, to desktop and share it with your remote attendees. Um, you can also play around with the contrast uh, settings, whether, you know, if the, how many times have you, you know, uh, gone to the whiteboard, you know, picked up the uh, marker and the marker does not have ink in it. It happens to me about almost 80, 90 times, right? And, uh, so with this contrast enhancement, you can always uh, increase the readability of that. Um, and the last uh, feature is uh, changing the whiteboard into a virtual camera. We'll talk about that more. Um, uh, and uh, what that does is it allows the, uh, the whiteboard, which is shareable content, take on the personality of your primary video camera as well, so that you can have a PowerPoint as well as uh, the whiteboard shared at the same time. So, uh, when we launch that whiteboard, this is how the whiteboard is going to show. Um, the, the camera is actually looking at 180 degree field of view. And then the whiteboard, as you can see, the, the camera is looking the whiteboard as a, at an angle, quite an angle, right? Uh, however, when you launch that whiteboard uh, feature, um, you know, the, it, the camera detects the, the, the marker, it extracts that region, that region, it orthogonally corrects it and presents it. And this is how uh, the shareable content becomes available to the host site that can be shared to the uh, with shared with the remote uh, parties. Okay, so let me uh, let me go ahead and I'll stop sharing for now here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, share my complete desktop so I can show you what I'm doing. What what I'm going to do actually the first thing I'm going to do is. Uh, 
let me uh, share my desktop here real quick. I've just been asked while you're doing that, uh, sure. Jeff, um, how, how big a room will the camera sort of work in, you know? Uh, will it work in a big, you know, auditorium, oh. lecture theater at a university, for example? A very good question, yeah. So the camera can um, work in small uh, huddle room as well as in large huddle room, uh, large uh, auditoriums as well. I'll show you some uh, pictures that you, you, you know, you can decide for yourself. Obviously, uh, it depends on the use case also. If you're using the camera in a small huddle room, then your, your objective is a little different versus when you're using the camera in a large auditorium, your objective is different, right? So it works both, it excels in the small huddle rooms to capture everybody, it excels in the larger uh, auditorium sound uh, scenarios where it would capture wall to wall and give the room dynamics or uh, you know the real time video uh, uh, to the remote attendees, get them the feel of what exactly is going on, in, uh, on at that uh, remote end. So yeah, um, I forgot where I was, okay. so. Am I, uh, I'm sharing my desktop, I guess. Uh, yes, you are, yeah, indeed. Excellent, okay. So I have a Panacast Vision app. As you can see, this is my Panacast Vision app. Um, it sits on my desktop. This is my Panacast, I just double clicked it. And as you can see, this is the Panacast Vision app. Right now, you cannot see any video in that Panacast Vision app. It is because I have chosen Panacast as my camera uh, for my Zoom call. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, go ahead in my Zoom call and uh, I'm just going to change my camera. I'm going to stop sharing for a second. Just allow me. Okay. And I'll just uh, quickly check the Panacast vision. And as you can see, you saw that uh, graphic of Panacast vision and it immediately picked up as uh, my uh, second camera. So now you see 180 degree field of view uh, in my Panacast Vision app, right? Yeah. Um, and I can, and let me go ahead and share my desktop again. And, and here's my Panacast Vision app. Steve, uh, can you confirm you're seeing that, right? Yeah, I can, yeah, yeah, we can okay, see Okay, excellent. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is, so we talked about this app, these are the controls where you can go plus, minus, all of that, and then you can do some presets, um, all of these cool things that you can do. These presets, it's very, very easy to set. You just uh, keep it clicked, and then, um, you know, it just like how you uh, preset your audio uh, buttons on, on your car stereo. Um, so going back, you know, resetting it and then just clicking it, making it disappear. When you click on that, it says whiteboard, as you saw that. Once I click on that whiteboard, what it does is uh, it would launch, it would provide me these uh, controls and it, it's all already going to go ahead and, uh, you know, I had saved that uh, position, but what it's done is it's captured the whiteboard over here and it's real time. Um, as you can see, I can I can write something. It's available. It's it's all real time. Um, the other way, so it did an automatic scanning, and what it was looking for was this virtual uh, um, this uh, concentric squares over here. This is a, a marker that's available on our website. Would be uh, available, and you know you can download it from our website, or uh, we would be shipping these in our boxes as well with the cameras. Very easy. If you don't have anything, you can even just draw it by yourself. As easy as that. The other option over here is manual. What manual does is, if I click on manual, what is what the camera has done is it's taken a screenshot of the room, um, and it has taken a screenshot. And but it also allows me to not only mark my whiteboard and it guides me and it it tracks my marking as well. So as you can see, it's telling me go ahead and mark my first point, mark my second point, mark my third and my fourth and I just marked it and you know in a second it uh, just extracted that and um, showed me the whiteboard and it seems like the camera is placed at 90 degrees to the whiteboard whereas you can see in the video where the camera how the camera is looking at it so yeah. the algorithms are doing a really great job in um, orthogonally correcting any curvature that you would see in that right 
increase the whiteboard readability magic, right? Uh, we love Harry Potter. We are doing our own little Harry Potter stuff <laughs> over here, right? Well, so, oh. yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the other thing you can see is if I click on this, it would make this window disappear and it would, in that small thumbnail that you're seeing, um, it would make the, the, and the whiteboard as a virtual camera. And if you pay attention on your, on your thumbnails, now my, my whiteboard has become, uh, has uh, taken over the role as a virtual camera. I can bring it back uh, to my uh, uh, shareable content or I can make it as a video as well. Why do I want to make it as a video? What, when I make it as a video, it allows me to share my PowerPoint as shareable content. You cannot do two shareable contents in any video conference, right? So this allows you to make the camera or make the whiteboard as your primary video and then do your shareable as you were to do shareable content. It's very powerful in case of, think, think of a use case scenario where you're talking about education and uh, you know the professor or instructor wants to just do some whiteboarding, but there's a content also being shared as a PowerPoint or a, so that way the, the students don't have to see the instructor, they can see the, uh, the whiteboard, they can see the PowerPoint, both the things at the same time. So really cool stuff. And I can bring it back. So I'm going to stop sharing that. Um, if, any questions, uh, Steve, um, around uh, that? No, no, not at the moment. No, but if you, anybody listening has got any questions, by all means, uh, feed them through to me. Excellent. Uh, OK. Um, let, me, let me go back to my slides. OK, so we, we saw that uh, the demo of uh, Whiteboard. I'm just going to talk quickly, very, very quickly about upcoming products. I know we're running uh, a little uh, close to our time, uh, six, seven minutes to go. Um, there are a couple of products that are coming. Panacast Vivid is uh, coming in the next uh, two weeks' time. It is the HDR functionality that would become available on the Panacast cameras. And then we, we already talked about Panacast 2S. It would deliver a 7.4 megapixel by uh, basically delivering all the video to the uh, un, uh, raw video to the Intel Skull Canyon and then have that uh, um, processed and rendered um, by the Intel Skull Canyon. Um, quickly we'll go through some of our customers' use case scenarios. GoDaddy is using it for their uh, conference rooms. The camera is really, really small with 80 inch wide uh, screens. Uh, presents a really nice view of that. Um, there was a question on how big a room can the Panacast camera work? So this is from University of Western Sydney that they have installed a camera for to capture um, their uh, 300 seating auditorium. Um, you don't need to zoom in, zoom out. Just take that camera, place it over there, and then it captures the you know the entire auditorium in a very nice way for the remote attendees. Okay, fa fantastic. Um, Acadia. Asked, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt, Javed. Uh, just been asked a, a direct question. How how can people buy uh, the Panacast camera? What are the options? Um, when well, you can buy it through Intermedia um, and through our distributors. Uh, and if you're in the U.S., uh, contact us. Uh, reach out to um, Steve and Doug. They can provide you con our contact information. If you're yeah. based in UK. Um, I think at the end of our webinar, um, Steve and uh, Steve will provide you information on how to. Uh, I will read. certainly do that. Yeah, yeah. The, the gentleman who asked has asked twice now, so I was going to leave it to the end, but I thought I better, you know, uh, just hey, uh, just. I've got a great books, idea, so, Steve. Uh, I've got a great idea. Keen. You have a very yeah. keen. To, yeah, uh, yeah, no, I've got a great idea. We can stop the seminar right now and start selling the cameras. Yeah, right. Yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Acadia Divinity College, um, yeah, that's they're using their uh, in their classrooms for remote learning uh, as well. So that's pretty much it. I've tried to you know uh, make sure that uh, be mindful of your time. I know it's uh, evening time in the UK. Uh, we have two three minutes left. Um, if there are any other questions, I'd be happy to answer. I'm based in California, um, but um, you know uh, I can be reached. Uh, my you can reach out to Intermedia and uh, Steve and. You know, if you have questions, need um, you know more technical answers on your opportunities, we'd be happy to help you. Okay, so Steve, uh, 
Yeah, that, that's great. So I'll just do a quick uh, share screen if I uh, could, uh, Javid, just put a couple yep. of slides. I think there are a couple more questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just bear with me a second. Uh, so uh, there we go. There's, uh, there's a screen. So well, let's just have a look at the, uh, the questions that we've got. Uh, Right, let's just come out of there for a second. Just need to adjust that. Uh, yeah, um, I had a question uh, about uh, the use of the camera in a larger facility. But what about the sound? How are there any restrictions on that? How's how's that work? So the camera, uh, the camera does have. I forgot to mention that. Really good question. The camera has two Realtek audio microphones, onboard microphones work really well even for um, for a room about this size, which could be anywhere from uh, you know 10 to 15 foot room. Um, the audio is really good. I can, right now I'm running an external, but I can always switch to my Panacast camera for the audio as well. And the guys can um, view that, uh, listen to the audio. But um, it works um, really well if you're using uh, Panacast camera as a mic pickup or uh, audio pickup and you're using a uh, screen uh, for your uh, speakers, yeah, it works really well for up to 14, 16 feet rooms. Yep. Okay, fantastic. Uh, don't think we've got any more questions. I think you've uh, you've done a fantastic job there, Javed, of explaining things, um, you know, in, in a very clear way. So well done there, and uh, and thank you. Uh, so where do we go? From here? You know, you, you've all spent time on the uh, webinar today, and uh, you know, I, uh, at the beginning, I said I hope that Javed and I, and particularly Javed, to be honest, is uh, you know going to really give you some value and really give you a good understanding of, of the technology. Because I think one of the things, certainly with me, who's not particularly a techie person, is is understanding what uh, is available and what is on the market today is a real key. So the question is always, what are you going to do? Well, uh, if you want to move things forward with uh, intermedia communication solutions, who I work for, uh, we'd be very pleased uh, to, to help you. Um, Steve, parting thought. I beg your pardon? Yeah, Steve, one parting thought that I uh, forgot to mention was, uh, just quickly, the whiteboard demo that you guys saw, it really is a very powerful tool. Uh, you know, compare it to some of the, you know, there's a trend going on. There's Cisco, Spark, there's uh, Google Jamboard, there's Microsoft uh, Surface Hub, all of that. Those are really, really expensive uh, tools. Uh, they're really good products, but they're really expensive. With Panacast whiteboard functionality, it's a, just a small uh, subscription piece, and it, it basically converts each of your small hull room it's as if you've enabled them with these jam boards or sparks or things like that. So it's, it's really uh, powerful uh, uh, in, and it protects your investment a lot. Great, thank you, uh, thank you, Jared. So if you want to know more about uh, uh, the Panacast 2, very happy to give you a free demo. We'd like to make a special offer on the webinar right now and say that um, if you're interested, please get in touch. And we would be very happy to offer anybody on the webinar today a 10% discount on our uh, products and services. If you want to know how to get in touch, uh, the contact details are there. I'm not going to read that out because you can probably see that hopefully anyway. Can you see that, Javed? Yeah? You can see my screen, yeah? Yes, I can. Yeah, great. Okay, that's, uh, that, that's good to hear. Um, I, 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 however, I didn't see the, the contact information. Oh, there you go. Now it, oh, it's so I'm just in. Okay, yep. all right. So, um, yeah, uh, my colleague, Doug, uh, there's his email. He's the best person to contact. Uh, uh, so drop Doug a quick email. Go to our website, intermedia-cs.co.uk, and, uh, again, there's... Uh, telephone number so it'd be great to hear from you if you've got any questions um, if you'd like a demonstration if you'd like to get a 10% discount then please feel free to get in touch so just to finish on behalf of Javed and myself Altia and thank you. Your communications we would like to give you a sincerely big thank you for your time we really value your time and appreciate you spending some of that time with us so thank you ever so much for listening and uh, we hope to hear
in due course. Thank you very much. Thank you.